All right, take a look at these Nike Blazers. This is an interesting shoe. When I first saw this shoe, I wasn't intending on buying it, but the store that I went to gave me a good deal and I got it. You all would not believe how much I bought these shoes for. Guess how much I bought these shoes for? I bought them for zero dollars. Yes, that's right. And yes, these are the Nike Blazers SB. So, a little story on how I got them. So, I went to the store and I was buying a pair of Nike Air Max 97 whites and, well, actually, all white Nike Air Max 97s. And they were doing giveaways. And this shoe was one of the shoes that they were giving, giving away. And I guess I was one of the winners. So, <laughs> I picked this shoe. I picked two blazers, by the way. So, there's another pair that I got. I'm going to add the picture in here. But yeah so i got this shoe and i'm very satisfied with what i got because i've worn these shoes several times i've worked out in these shoes i've done so much in these shoes and they last they last very well so they're very reliable the material that they use i believe is nubuck and nubuck doesn't mess up i think nubuck is a better cloth like material compared to suede because suede obviously gets messed up once it touches water when i say messed up it stains so yeah and a lot of people don't like their shoes staining especially if it's a lighter suede but in comparison to nubuck nubuck if you try to wash the shoe or put any type of liquid on it you can pretty much let that material dry you can pretty much let the nubuck dry and the shoe will look like it's new again and that's one thing i love about nubuck now I don't know how the previous owner for the shoe wore the shoes, but me, I took good care of them. And I forgot to mention, these shoes were pre-owned. So when they were pre-owned, so when I buy pre-owned shoes, normally they're taken good. So yeah, these shoes were pre-owned. And when I say pre-owned, they were taken care of before I bought them. So the insides, the soles weren't really messed up. Now I've probably worn these shoes like 15 times max and i've done some damage in these so like i said i've worked out in these but i took care of them and like i said i don't know how the previous owner cared for them but they did a decent job the red part of this uh, the red part of this shoe is kind of getting messed up the red part of the shoe is kind of deteriorating away now i did say the shoe is made out of suede but if you take a close look at this red area right here where the Nike logo is at, you can tell that this is a different material compared to this green right here. So this red and this green material are two different materials. This red part is suede. This is definitely suede. So if water touches these, it will get messed up. Now I never had to wash these, but I have wiped these down, especially when I first got them, just to make them look extra clean. But I never put water on this part and thank god i did not because i feel like they would have stained and they would have messed up the the suede part but overall you know the red detail the red accent gives the shoe a nice look and by the way i love red red is my favorite color so it gives the shoe a nice look now blazers became really popular back in 2021 late 2021 wait late 2020 to 2021 all 2021 people were buying blazers and they're typically the white blazers if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about especially people who work out a lot they were rocking those a lot and you would see them at the street you would see them in the streets all the time you typically wouldn't see this type of shoe and i can tell why you know this is a this is obviously the skaters edition of the nike blazers as you can tell, you know, SB, Nike. But yeah, SB is for the skaters edition of the shoe. So you have Nike Dunks and you have Nike SB Dunks. So the SB is the skaters edition. So yeah. But yeah, other than that, like I said, the red looks nice. I like the red material at the toe area. So near the toe area right here, there's red material. And that's some good quality material right here. Like I said, I've done some damage. And I don't know how the previous owner took care of the shoe. But they did a good job. They didn't mess up the shoe. 
and the shoe is taken care of. Now it is still a little bit dirty, but it's not bad. It's still something that you can actually rock. I can still rock a nice fit. As you all can see from the camera, it's not a bad looking shoe. You can still rock this shoe. You can still rock this shoe. And I am satisfied with this shoe. But overall though, tell me all tell me what you all think of this shoe. But overall and I don't have the box, so that's another unfortunate thing. Normally when you buy pre-owned shoes, sometimes they'd have the box. Sometimes they would have the box. Sometimes they don't. Unfortunately, this was one of the shoes that didn't have a box. So yeah, when I was awarded the shoe, I was kind of confused on where the box was. They gave me a Nike, they gave me an Adidas Yeezy box, by the way. They gave me an Adidas Yeezy box just because you know I asked about it and I wasn't mad. I was actually fine with the box. I was just skeptical on where I can get the box because, you know, who doesn't want a box for the shoe? I like my boxes because I, sh I like to sell my shoes. So when I do ship the shoes, I'd like for them to be shipped in a box. So that way the next owner feels satisfied. But yeah, they didn't come with the box and that's fine with me. Now, am I a huge fan of the shoe? Um, I was a huge Nike Blazer fan back in 2011. But ever since that died down you know my love for the nike blazer never went down but ever since so yeah like i said i was a huge fan of the nike blazers back in 2011 and my love for the shoe the design never really went away but i will admit that once this once the hype went down i stopped seeing nike reselling the shoe i stopped seeing them in the streets as much so you know i stopped giving them attention but when they got popular again in late 2020 you know the love sparked again those flames ignited and uh, here i am holding another pair of nike blazers except this is an sb version the previous owner that the previous so i've had a pair of nike blazers and they were all black and they were not the SB version, they were the initial Nike Blazers and I really enjoy those. I wore those almost every day. I enjoy those shoes. I had them back when I was in middle school and I did a lot of damage with those shoes but I took good care of them. That's the thing. I did damage on them but I took good care of them. And yeah, here we are with the Nike Blazers. Oh yeah. But yeah, overall, this is a nice shoe. I highly recommend you all to, you know, rock this shoe. If you can pick these up online, eBay, any type of sneaker store, don't don't go shop at the stores that sell fake that sell fake shoes unless if you roll that way. Me, I don't have an issue with it. If that's how you do things, that's how you do things. I don't have an issue with people buying whatever they want or buying what they can afford because I know it gets tough out here and we all want to look fresh. So I'm not going to throw stones at somebody who wants to look nice, who wants to rock a pair of shoes that they probably can't afford. So do what you have to do, but be safe while you're doing it. So anyways, this is a shoe right here. I hope you all enjoy this video. If you liked this video, I would highly appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And also check out my Instagram Look at the description for more information on my social media's platforms. And by the way, I am interested in reviewing different products. So if you own a business or you sell something that you'd like for me to review, you can send me a message through Instagram or check out the description on how to contact me and ship material to me so that way I can review your stuff. And yeah, that's the end of the video. But let me let you all get another look. Just look at how nice the shoe looks. This is a clean looking shoe. OMG. Look at that. Clean. Mm. But yeah, anyways. I, let, let me. <laughs> I'm playing with y'all. I'm playing with y'all. I'm playing too much. I like the shoe so much. Like, when I tell you all I'm a Nike Blazer fan, I'm a Nike Blazer fan. So I'm going to let you all look at this shoe as long as possible. Although, you know, I was planning on ending the video like. 30 seconds ago, I'm just gonna let you all look at it. And I looked at the shoe so long, for so long that I forgot to show you all the bottoms. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? What am I doing? But anyways, this is the bottom of the shoe. It's brown, it's like a Nike, it's like a 
gummy brown it's a dark gummy brown and that's a great addition I like the look it's not bad at all I prefer it it does its job and there's not a lot of heel drag by the way so these Nike blazers held up well and as you can tell the bottoms still look pretty good there's no heel drag so I'm satisfied with that but yeah now I'm gonna end the video but thank you all for watching I hope you enjoy the video and peace